Hey guys, today it is Monday, January 27th, 2020, and for this video today, I want to share my thoughts on an interesting rumor that has recently surfaced, and I believe this rumor has come from a writer for The Athletic who covers the Minnesota Wild. Now, this writer's name is Michael Rousseau, and supposedly, according to him, the National Hockey League is considering a throwback jersey for, quote, each team in the coming years. Now, this is a segment, or sorry, an excerpt uh, taken from a podcast that he recently did, or at least participated in. So it says here, the Winter Classic jersey, and by the way, before I go any further, this is regarding the Minnesota Wild because truth is they were supposed to be debuting a brand new black alternate uniform this season, which was ultimately scrapped because it failed TV testing. At least that's what I've heard. Um, but anyways, the Winter Classic jersey will not be the same as the Wild's new third jersey. Something I also forgot to mention is that Next year in 2021, Minnesota is hosting the Winter Classic. This has been confirmed. So the Winter Classic jersey will not be the same as the Wild's new third jersey, which will likely be released in two or three seasons, depending on a potential throwback jersey the league is considering for each team in the coming years. Now, reading this the first time around, it looks like, according to Michael Rousseau, the NHL is considering some type of throwback jersey program where everybody gets a throwback uniform. But as I'm reading this now, I'm thinking to myself, well, the Golden Knights have only ever worn their white and steel gray home and away jerseys that they have had since they joined the league in the 2017-18 season. So obviously they will not be able to do a throwback. I mean, could they do some type of special faux back? Uh, I have a feeling that they won't. Unless, of course, they were to, to, of course, participate in a Winter Classic, which I honestly don't see that happening for the next little while, at least. I think what they will do at first is they will have the Golden Knights at some point in the next 10 years participate in a Stadium Series game, I'm sure, because... Now that the Oakland Raiders have moved into, or, or sorry, are moving to Las Vegas next season, Las Vegas has a brand spanking new NFL ready stadium, and I'm guaranteed that at some point in time it will host a marquee NHL game of some sort, whether it's a winter classic or the stadium series. I have a very good feeling that it will host at least one of those events at some point, that the new stadium in Las Vegas for the Raiders, that's what I'm talking about. But when I read this, a potential throwback jersey the league is considering for each team in the coming years. Not every single NHL team would be able to really do a genuine throwback. I mean, for example, look at the Nashville Predators. I mean... Could they wear their 2020 Winter Classic sweaters a few times a year going forward or at least once a season going forward? Sure, they could maybe do that, but I don't think they would do a throwback to anything in their actual in the actual franchise's history. I mean, I think at some point they will at some point later on in way in the future, I'm sure. I, I would not be shocked if they did wear their original 90s uniforms at some point for one game or something as a throwback when they're celebrating, I don't know, a 50th anniversary or something. But, you know, Nashville can't really do a throwback uniform unless, of course, they wear their 2020 faux-back uniforms from this, or sorry, from the 2020 Winter Classic, which happened uh, 26 days ago. Um, the Dallas Stars... I mean, they could do a throwback uniform to when they first moved from Minnesota, or maybe they'll end up adopting their brand spanking new winter classic sweaters for as a special heritage uniform going forward. I think Dallas did a great job with that uniform for the winter classic this year, to be honest. I'd hate to see it retired after just a few games. 
I mean, I think it should actually, I think it's actually good enough they could keep it for another season or two as a full-time third, to be quite honest, or even as a heritage uniform. Um, thinking of other teams, I mean, I mean, the Arizona Coyotes are already wearing a throwback uniform as their alternate uniform. But I've been hearing rumors that they could be considering they could very well be going full time retro and going back to the Kachina uniforms full time next season. If that happens, well, they've already got they've already gone full time retro. Um, other other teams to think about too. Another one is the Minnesota Wild. What would Minnesota wear for a throwback uniform unless of course they wore a, a North Stars throwback which I think would be awesome but I would not be surprised if that doesn't happen now obviously the Dallas Stars were the original Minnesota North Stars they are literally the the North Stars because the Minnesota North Stars moved to Dallas in time for the 1993-94 season so, would Minnesota wear a North Stars throwback? I would be surprised if they did. I mean, I would love to see it. I mean, and I'm really hoping that they prove me wrong and wear a North Stars throwback for the 2021 Winter Classic, but I have a feeling the Minnesota Wild will play it very safe and elect to go with a special faux back uniform that's probably forest green and gold and inspired by the Minnesota North Stars and other historic hockey teams that have played in the state of Minnesota over time. Now, for example, you know, another team... You know, you've got the Carolina Hurricanes who are already wearing a Whalers throwback. Um, that I was actually really surprised that they did it. But truth is, I do really enjoy seeing that uniform on NHL ice again. Um, even though I can appreciate how Hartford Whalers fans would feel about that, I'm sure, if if they didn't care for Carolina doing that. I respect your opinion on that if that's how you feel. I mean, in my opinion, I do think it's amazing that we have had a chance to see the Hartford Whalers uniforms on NHL ice again in some capacity. I love their original Kelly Green jersey and uniform, so seeing it on NHL ice again, in my opinion, for the second year in a row has been really, really cool to see. So, at least in my opinion, there would be some teams that I just, I don't think they would be able to really do a genuine throwback unless Columbus was somehow I don't know I mean they could actually I'm forgetting uh Columbus could do a Cleveland Barons throwback but I don't know if they would uh what would the Colorado Avalanche do for a throwback uniform I mean they've gone to a slightly modernized version of their original uniforms now they could technically do a Quebec Nordiques throwback uniform but I have a feeling that they would probably want to avoid it and I think that they would probably be concerned about the reception that decision would get from Quebecers especially original Nordique fans and I can understand I can understand and respect Colorado for not doing that Personally, I would rather see a new NHL franchise in Quebec City than the Colorado Avalanche wearing Nordiques throwbacks any day. And personally, I would prefer if Colorado just wear Colorado uniforms. And if they want to do some type of special throwback, to me, they should do a Colorado Rockies throwback at the most. At least that's my opinion. Um, I don't expect everyone to agree with me there. Um... Also, let's see. So, if you've got a throwback uniform for every team, as I've been hinting throughout the video, there's some teams that, in my opinion, you can't really do a throwback for. Obviously, Las Vegas is one of them because they just joined the NHL three years ago. I mean, the Nashville Predators, unless they were wearing their Winter Classic uniforms as a special heritage uniform... That would be the only option I could think of. 
I mean, they could, I mean, I'd love to see them bring back their navy blue third jerseys from a decade ago, but would that be a throwback? I would, I think it should just be a third jersey again and hopefully eventually actually become their full-time home jersey. I mean, I love that Nashville wears yellow all the time, but call me crazy, but I still love to see Nashville wear yellow on the road, or as they call it in Nashville, gold, and navy blue at home. But, you know, you look at some of these teams like Columbus, even, I would even argue Dallas. I mean, they could do a throwback to their original uniforms from when they first moved uh, from Minnesota. I think that would be cool. But I don't know if the Stars would do that. And honestly, I'd rather see them wear their Winter Classic uniforms they wore back in, earlier this month as I'm filming this because I think Dallas really did a great job with them. Um, Columbus, I mean, unless they did a Cleveland Barons throwback of some sort, which would I will admit that would be kind of neat to see. Um, I can't see Columbus doing a throwback to anything in their early years as a franchise. Um, them, the Minnesota Wild, I don't think they would do a North Stars throwback, although I could be very wrong, and I would hope that I would be wrong in that case. But you've got them, you've got Nashville. I would even throw in Dallas, argue, unless they wear their Winter Classic sweaters from this season. Columbus. So there are some teams that, in my opinion, you would not be able to do a throwback uniform for. Or at least I think it would be unlikely that they would do anything that I've suggested in this video. So it's an interesting rumor. So I will be honest, am I a little tiny bit skeptical about this rumor? Uh, truth is, I am just a little bit for the reasons that I've stated especially regarding the Vegas Golden Knights. And, I mean, once the new Seattle NHL team finally starts playing, which I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, the 32nd franchise in Seattle finally get going in the next uh, year or two. But, I mean, that franchise could do a Seattle Metropolitans throwback at some point. I think most people would love to see it. I know I would. But, um... But for the Golden Knights, I can't see them doing anything even faux back inspired at this point in time. I think it's a li little bit too soon. I mean, would I love to see the Golden Knights in a Winter Classic someday? I think that would be really cool. But in the short term, I think they should just continue to uh, be a new franchise in the NHL. And, I mean, I do want to see them in an outdoor game at some point, but I think there are multiple other teams that should have a chance at it first. At least that's my personal opinion. But this rumor is very interesting. Now, I want to make sure that I make one thing clear here. Um, I am certainly, I want to say this. I certainly believe that this rumor should be looked at as something that very well could happen. Because Michael Russo is a sick significant writer in terms of um sorry he was a writer that had a lot of inside knowledge as far as i can remember regarding minnesota's planned third jersey for this season that was ultimately canceled he did at one point i believe mention that the alternate uniform they were planning on was going to be black i'm pretty confident he did mention that and I believe he was also the one, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Michael Rousseau was also the guy that mentioned on Twitter that the Wild were having issues with TV testing for the alternate uniform that was scrapped that they were going to debut this season. So I would say that this rumor is not something you should take with a grain of salt. I think it is something that should be looked at as something that very well could happen. I mean, do I think it will happen for absolutely everybody? No, I don't. Now, truth is, a few years ago, back in 2016, in the in the December of 2016, right around Christmas time, I remember doing a video about a rumor at the time that about the idea that was supposedly being rumored that the NHL may allow teams to start having two alternate uniforms. Now, 
As I said in that video, and I will say just a little bit north of three years later, that has basically already been happening for a while anyway, even at, in the latter half of the Reebok Edge jersey era in the NHL, because you've had so many different teams wearing a third jersey and a throwback. And even now in 2020, you've got teams such as Calgary with their red throwbacks as an alternate and their white 1989 throwback uniforms they wore in the Heritage Classic earlier this season as an additional uniform. Also, you've got the Winnipeg Jets who have a third jersey as well, which is not a throwback. And they've also got the navy blue WHA-inspired faux-back uniform that they wore for the Heritage Classic. Now, the reason I call it a faux-back is because when the original Winnipeg Jets were part of the World Hockey Association, their jerseys were royal blue, not navy blue. Now, also look at the Los Angeles Kings, for example. Not only do they have their gray alternates, but they will also be wearing their uh, 1990s Gretzky-era throwback uniforms for two upcoming games this season. And on top of that, they will be also wearing their Stadium Series uniform for not one game, but two. One for the outdoor event and an additional game at the Staples Center, which I do respect the Kings for doing that for their fans, even though I am not a fan of their Stadium Series uniform whatsoever. I still think it's good that they are at least wearing it for an additional game for those who do like that un uniform. Um, so right there, the Kings are wearing five uniforms. They're wearing a throwback and they're wearing an alternate. So what I'm trying to get at is, is that the rumor I talked about a few years ago has for the most part come true. Not completely. It isn't a situation where you see a team like, for example... Uh, the Colorado Avalanche wearing their navy blue alternate and having an additional full-time alternate that is, for example, their Stadium Series jersey adopted as a full-time second alternate as an example. I'm talking about the new one that's going to be worn uh, next month, I believe, for the 2020 Stadium Series, which, to be honest... That jersey is a little bit too crazy in my opinion, but I respect your opinion if you don't agree with me on that. Uh, but... My point is, is that the two alternate rumor has, to some extent, already been happening for a long time anyway. I mean, it's not two new non-throwback designs. It's one new design and usually either a throwback uniform or a specialty outdoor uniform. Whether it's a Heritage Classic, a Winter Classic, or a Stadium Series uniform. So... This rumor here about everybody potentially getting a throwback uniform, well... I, do I think it's going to apply to every single team? No. We've even heard rumors, a rumor at one point that all 31 NHL franchises were supposedly getting a new alternate uniform. Detroit, believe it or not, was supposed to have an alternate this season, but I hear the throw pat, or sorry, wrong word. The prototypes they were looking at were supposedly really bad, and at one point I've even heard that they were considering a black alternate during the process until they ultimately said Adidas we're not a fan of the prototypes please count us out for an alternate jersey at least for this year so I mean could Detroit get a third jersey at some point it's still very much possible Montreal at some point could add a throwback uniform of some sort to their rotation again they have done it before and I don't know about you viewers out there, but I still agree with everyone who says the 2016 Winter Classic uniform would be a great addition to their uniform rotation. I would actually be happy if they even only wore it once or twice a year. I think that would be, be plenty enough. But so far, this rumor of all 31, soon to be 32 NHL franchises getting an alternate uniform, so far that has not come true. Uh, do I think this rumor is going to apply to every single NHL team? Truth is, I don't. I mean, I think it's very possible we could see teams such as, um, for example, the Anaheim Ducks and the Florida Panthers. I would be very surprised if, it, if at least one of those two franchises alone don't have a throwback jersey in their rotation by 2025. I think that there's too much money to be made selling an Adidas made Addy Zero throwback replica jersey for it and merchandise sales overall for it not to happen. 
I've even heard that at the end of the Reebok Edge era, I believe, uh, the Panthers were contemplating a throwback uniform. I think if I remember correctly, they were going to do something for their 20th anniversary season, I believe, but they did not uh, meet a deadline or something to submit the throwback design, and that's why they ultimately never wore it. Plus, I believe that happened right before Vinny Viola bought the Panthers and ultimately uh, rebranded both their logos and their uniforms entirely. So, you know, I think that there will be more teams that bring out throwback uniforms. So I don't think this rumor should be looked at and taken with a grain of salt. I do believe that there will be a significant portion of this rumor that will be a little bit more that will become a reality for a lot of teams. I mean, look at Vancouver this season as an example. They've got a new modernized uniform heavily inspired by their very first royal blue uniform in franchise history as a new alternate uniform this season. And on top of that, they have their 90s skate throwbacks. So even the blues, they have their 67 throwbacks they wore for the 2017 Winter Classic as their full-time alternate now, and they've even added a mid-1990s royal blue throwback uniform that they still will be wearing for another game or two this season as of this video. So teams are already adding throwbacks, and in the Blues case, they're adding a throwback on top of a throwback this season, which personally, for three games, I think the mid-90s uniform is actually okay. I don't mind seeing it for a few games, but I gotta confess, I don't want to see it any more than that. But I do think it's cool that they did bring it back for a few games, and I am hoping that they will keep it at least for another season or two, personally. But my point is, is that do I think a lot of teams could still add throwback uniforms? Absolutely. And I do think this rumor from Michael Russo should be seen as something that very well could be happening and probably will happen for a lot more NHL teams or at least one or two more teams at some point soon. But do I believe this rumor will apply to every team? I think it will go down like the two alternate rumor and the rumor that all 31 soon to be 32 teams will get an alternate uniform where it won't be fully true for everybody, but it will come true and happen to a lot of teams. That I do believe for sure. So this is a very interesting rumor, and I am glad that I have seen this rumor and seen this uh, excerpt from a recent podcast that Michael Rousseau was a part of. Because I think this is a really interesting rumor, and honestly, I would not be shocked at all if this throwback jersey rumor, although I don't think it will apply to all 32 NHL franchises, I do believe that more teams in the next five years will add some type of throwback uniform to their rotations if they haven't done so already. So, before I wrap this up, I mean, looking at teams like Anaheim, I would be shocked if by 2025 they don't give us a Mighty Ducks throwback at least once or twice a season. Uh, as for the um, Edmonton Oilers, I could see them bringing their royal blue jerseys back at some point in the next coming years as a heritage uniform again. I mean, maybe they don't, but I could see it if this if this rumor does come true. Then I do I do have a feeling that the Oilers could bring the royal blue throwback uniform they should have never retired back in some capacity I mean I still think the Oilers made a serious mistake switching to orange full-time personally but you know at the same time now that I think about it the Oilers actually retired the royal blue jersey entirely this season so are they going to want to bring it back anytime soon I have a feeling they might not which in my opinion sucks and I hope that's not the case but it's very possible I mean, I could see Florida doing a 90s throwback relatively soon. I, I would be shocked if it doesn't happen in the next 5 to 10 years. I, I think it could even happen sooner. I mean, you could see the Pittsburgh Penguins add an additional uniform as a throwback. I mean, I'd love to see the baby blue winter classic uniform from 2008 come back. 
I think a lot of people would love to see an older Penguins throwback at some point, but Pittsburgh's already gone full-time retro to their late 80s, early 1990s uniforms anyway, full-time. So, and the Flyers have gone back to their original uniforms from the Broad Street Bully era of the 1970s. So, you know, could they do an 80s throwback? That's possible, but I don't know. I mean, it's it's a case of time will tell. I mean, this is a rumor that I will repeat once again. I don't think it should be just taken with a grain of salt. I do believe there is some validity to this rumor. I just don't think personally that it will apply to every team. Now, on that note, you guys, I am going to wrap this video up on that note. Uh, I would love to hear what other people think of this rumor and if it will and if you think it will apply to almost every NHL team, I think it's already basically applying to a lot of teams anyway. I mean, do I think more teams will hop on the, the throwback uniform wagon? My answer to that is yes. But do I think everybody will? Truth is, I don't. But I could be wrong. Uh, but anyways, it's been a great rumor to talk about. It's definitely something interesting, and I figured it was worth definitely making a video for but on that note you guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have watched it all the way through i would love to hear what other people think about this rumor and on that note you guys take care and of course as usual folks bye for now